things that you have to endure. If we are following a man that is said in Isaiah 53 that he was despised and rejected. Yeah. How can you follow a man that was despised and rejected by the world and represent him and you won't go through? The scripture said that if you suffer with him, that you will reign with him. And that's what I'm saying. Paul and Silas were in a Philippian jail. They had chains on their feet. And they were in the inner prison. And the scripture went on to say, but at midnight, it said that Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And saints, that's what you have to do sometimes in the midnights of your life. And most of us may have not had to deal with a literal prison, but he said that they were in an inner prison. And I submit to you that there are people all over this room in inner prisons right now. You know what an inner prison is? An inner prison is a prison that others can't see. That thing that you're going through in the heat of the night that nobody else can see. You have a house full of people, but they don't know. Most of us are hurting in places that others simply cannot see. And you can't judge a book by your cover, by its cover. Each and every one of us have our own trial and tribulation. We have our own test. And it seems like everybody else has it made in shape. But saints, if you go to live for God, you are going to go through. And I had wrote some better notes.